Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Budget with Kat, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Kat, I'm a 31 year old budgeting addict and I just love everything budgeting. I'm back, I'm finally back from Italy. I had an amazing holiday, it's definitely one to remember. We have an accessory here. This is um, my engagement ring. My partner engaged me in Rome on a rooftop on our last day of Rome. So that is my engagement ring. Um, I have got a little bit of black on this finger just because my eyeliner decided to explode on me and um, it's a very, very, um, how should I say this? It doesn't come off. <laughs> it's very hard to come off and got it in my finger, that my finger. But um, yeah, once I take these nails off, I've got one more day with these on and then I have to take them off for work purposes. But hopefully I can get the rest off um, after I've taken the nails off. But yeah, I'm finally back from the holiday. It's been absolutely amazing. Thank you everyone so much for the messages. It really does mean a lot. So today's video, I am doing an extra cash stuffing for June. It will probably come out in July, the first couple of days of July, as well as my end of month blind account for June, just because I didn't wasn't able to pre-record this video or the end of month blind account before I went. I didn't actually know how much I was going to have at the end of the month to do an extra cash stuffing with. So that is what this video is going to be. I hope that you're all well and I can't wait to catch up on all the videos that I've missed over the time that I've been away. So that would be definitely in the couple the couple days coming I'll be catching up on all your videos. So I'm just going to start and just get the money out. I have put it in week five but I didn't I need to get a extra wallet with extra cash stuffing on it or something just for when I do do these videos so I have got some notes but I've also got a bit of change to put into some challenges so I'll pop that to the side so I believe we have 250 75 of this is from leftover holiday money we have managed to change it back over from euros and swiss francs to pounds so that is a little bit in here so we've got 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 70 80 90 200 210 20 30 40 45 and 50 so 250 in notes and a couple bit of change. I think some of it is going to go into my mini savings challenge and the rest will go into my penny savings challenge. So I'm just going to divide that up. So we got £3 that will go into my mini savings challenge and we have this that will go into my pennies, which I'll do right now because then it just gets it away into the area that it needs to be. So I'm just going to get a pen quickly. So, penny savings challenge. Let's see how much we got. We got 50. Oh, I can't pick it up. And it seems we got a kind of unique 50, if you can see that. That's quite pretty. I don't know if I want to stuff this, actually. <laughs> but I will. So, we got 50, 60, 70, 80... 90, it's so hard to pick this up, 90, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 98p, I don't actually think we have 98, we've got 96 which will take off if you can see it, 96 just there which will cross off another 90, we're, uh, we're crossing them off as we go along but yeah, I can't wait to start doing all the £2 and the 3s and the 1s. It's going to take a while to finish it, but we're coming along quite nicely, actually. So I'm just going to pop this to the side and try not to lose any of the money. And then the £3 is going into the mini savings challenge. And I'm hoping that we can finish off this page. Not quite. We have got two left that we can do after this. So we're just going to cross off £3. And then we've got two pounds left and then we finished off that page which saves 50 pounds and then the next page is five pounds which can save up to 75 pounds so, yeah lovely 
Okay, now we can cash stuff for £250. The first one I'm going to be putting into, I have gotten it all written down here just because I wanted to know where I'm going to be putting it. The first one that we're going to do, what's the easiest one we are? We're going to sinking funds first. Um, now, the first one is car. Now, car, my car has is an absolute, just amazing. It got us all the way to Italy. So we drove from the UK all the way to France, through France into Switzerland, which we stayed at, through Switzerland all the way down to Rome, which is down south, and then all the way back up to Florence, um, which obviously we drove around places, back up to Switzerland, and then back through France to the UK. So that's well over two, 2,500 miles, I think it is, something like that. Um, and my car did it and with no problems whatsoever. So we're going to put a little bit into car just to, I don't know, just to give it a bit of money. So if anything goes wrong, then I know that I have got money or, you know, wash it really well. I don't know. But we are going to put 40 into car. It's just been amazing. One of the best, best cars I've had. And just, it's just been an amazing holiday. It really has. Still in sinking funds, we are going to be going to holiday, no, not holiday yet, house. Home is going to be getting 50. So from my condensing, if you watched it, we have got 1,400 now in the bank. And we are going to be putting £50 into home, which will make it 1,450. So I am trying to really build this up. We are not, not this year, we won't be getting a house this year. Some new things about my partner's cars come out. It's gonna cost a lot more than what we thought it was gonna cost to begin with. Um, so that's gonna put a little bit of a dent in the funds for the house, but we'll get there. We will get there with the hard work and cash stuffing. I'm sure we'll get there hopefully beginning of next year or mid next year i'm really hoping that we'll be able to get the house but yeah so home's got 1450 this is towards furniture i have a whole separate account just for home saving so this is just for the furniture for the house holiday so we're going to put a little bit more back in holiday we've decided where we want to go on our next holiday and the destination will be canada We've been, well, there's a, a few different holidays we want to do, like Amsterdam. We want to go back to Switzerland. Guys, if you got the opportunity to go to Switzerland, I would definitely recommend it. And Italy, but Switzerland, the views, insane. So we definitely want to go back there. The holiday is going to be getting £40 towards our next holiday. And yeah, really excited. My partner's been to Canada. He was um, deployed out there for a little while. So, and he really loves it. So he wants to go back out there, but obviously more on a, um, like a holiday than having to work out there. So holiday is getting 40. The next one, have I done everything in here that I wanted to do? I think I have. So I've done home, I've done holiday, I've done car. So that's done. And the next is saving challenges so i am going to be putting 40 pound towards savings challenges and we are doing the first two so we'll be doing five and ten challenge and also the rock paper and scissors so we're going to do two tens and two fives just to uh just in case we roll a five then we've got fives so two tens and two fives why is this all messed up <laughs> there that's better so two tens and two fives. I'm going to do the five and ten first and I'm just going to get the dice out for it. And then we'll do what's ever left over to rock, paper, scissors. And then hopefully next month's saving challenge stuffing, I will do the rock, paper, scissors first. I think that's what I'll do. I want to try and like go between the two, but the main one is the five and ten challenge. So let's... We're going to do two rolls. If they're two, if the both of them are low, like five, we'll do another roll just to try and get a higher. If not, then what's ever left over will go to the rock, paper, scissors challenge. So 
let's do the first roll. So five, five again. So we do one more roll and see what we land on. Yellow, so 10. So we're gonna put 20 pounds into the rock, not the rock, the five and 10 challenge. So we did two, two reds and one yellow. So 20 pounds is going into the five and 10 challenge. I'm not actually sure, I can't remember what this makes the total at the moment. So we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So now we've got 70 pounds in five and 10 challenge. And then the rest is just gonna go into the rock, paper, scissors challenge. So we'll cross off two fives. So the rocks are for the five. I'll pop it here so you can see. So two rocks. And then that means we have got 30 pounds in the rock, paper, scissors. I actually don't know how much this will add up to be just because it, it you can get a scissors on one, you know, so it doesn't really have a total yet. So that's quite good though. 30 pounds already on rock, paper, scissors. And I don't think anything else in here is being stuffed. I'm just gonna count how much we've got left. I think I worked it out right. <laughs> 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Why have I got 90? I should have 80. I put 30 in the saving challenges, didn't I? I did two tens and two, yeah, okay. My mistake, guys. I'm sorry if the bloody camera keeps moving. Let me see if I can secure it a little bit more. Um, yeah, so we obviously only put 30. So this will go into the rock, paper, scissors challenge. I'm just going to put that straight in. My bad. I completely don't know why I added that up wrong. <laughs> so we'll put 10 into the rock, paper, scissors. So across another paper off. And then that means we have got 40. 40 now in rock, paper, scissors. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. I think that's where that extra 10 came from. I think we did two, two tens and two fives, which only make 30 when I allocated 40 pounds towards it. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, now, so none of these binders are getting cash stuff. We have two binders that are going to. The first one we are going to is wedding. Now, because obviously now I'm engaged, I, well, we were putting into a lot into wedding. Well, we were trying to, obviously. But yeah, so 50 is gonna go into venues. Obviously I need to, you know, I need to start putting more into it really, but it is what it is. So 50 is going into venue. It's hard because obviously saving up for a house as well. The main priority will be the house, but it doesn't mean that I'm not going to cash stuff on the side for the wedding. So that is what I'm going to keep doing, even though I expect the house will come first. Unless I win the lottery, then <laughs> the house and the wedding will come at the same time. So £50 is going into venue, which will make it £350 now in the venue part of the wedding binder. So 300 is already in the bank for the venue part. And then we got 50. And then the last £30 is actually going to go towards Christmas. I've got a little bit more that I can stuff into the Christmas binder, which is amazing because obviously we are halfway there at the moment. So £30 is going into Christmas. So I'm just going to cross off 30 Okay, so we're going to cross off 20 and the 10 for the 30 pounds and then try and find somehow the, so where are we? So 25, five, is it here? No, 
25, I think we've got to go back a bit. No, so 25, 5, 10, 13, 13. Uh -huh. Okay, so I've already put 20 in that one. So let's find another 20. So we put 10 in here. And then we will find a 20. There we are. And that is June's extra cash stuffing. I feel so good being able to do an extra cash stuffing. June I haven't been able to do one for a while just because I haven't had the funds or I've had to put them elsewhere instead of being able to do an extra cash stuffing but it feels really good doing one this month and the next video will be the end of month bind account for this month I don't think well last month I managed to get into the four grands the four four thousands but I think we're going to be less than that I think we will still be in the three thousands but I have had to take money out from holiday, from car, from date night, from all, all areas really. But I know that we'll keep building it up. So I'm absolutely fine with whatever I've got in my binders. So yeah, I'll get on to doing that video after this video. And then I'll get that up as soon as I can, guys. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. It's lovely to be back. And it's, uh, yeah, I can't wait to watch your videos and to reply to your comments. I can't wait to see you in my next video, guys. I hope that you're okay. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Comment down below. I love replying to your comments and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Until then, guys, I'll see you soon. Bye.